This is your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Dave Ellis. A lot has been made about Michigan State's chance to win five in a row in the rivalry against Michigan and three in a row at Michigan Stadium. But that part has actually been done before. In 1956, 57, 59, and 61, the Spartans actually won four straight times in Ann Arbor. It will be a tough test for the football team this year coming in off a loss, but Andrew Maxwell knows that just builds character in this team. Um, those are times when we really realize that it's a family and we have to come together as a team and, and bounce back and grow from it. So you're going to be looking forward to this week then? Absolutely. You know, this is what you come here for, especially for a guy like me who grew up in the state of Michigan and grew up around the rivalry. Um, what a great opportunity for us to bounce back. Hockey's home opener against Niagara didn't start out so well. The Spartans trailed 2-0 going into the third period. Michigan State outshot the Purple Eagles 20-4 in the last 20 minutes and finally got some success. Jake Chelios put him on the board to start a good stretch. Lee Reimer followed up Tanner Sorensen's shot to tie the score three minutes after that. And Matt Berry tipped in Captain Greg Wolf's shot with just over five minutes to play, giving Michigan State a 3-2 comeback win. The third, we finally started getting those massive bounces we needed. We had some big goals. First one to put in, and then mine, and then Barry with the game winner. So overall, I thought we played well. And in the end, this outcome was good. Well, it'd be nice to get a goal in the first two periods. We haven't scored in those periods yet. But I think we all know they're going to come out fired up because they're a little uh, upset about how the game ended. Swimming and diving at home to take on Iowa, the 200 butterfly was a good event for both men and women. Freshman Lizzie Brown won that event for the ladies and also the 100 fly. They made a good surge in the middle events, but the Hawkeye women came away with the overall win. For the men, junior Brian Williams also took home the 100 and 200 butterfly events to lead the way for the green and white. Iowa did take home the team honors for the day. We'll have all the highlights and reaction from Ann Arbor on our next edition. That is your two-minute update. I'm Dave Ellis. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.